A Round Rock coach and USA Gymnastics member is facing three accusations of sexual assault, including from a former staff member. Coach Eugene Martinez will go before a judge in February on the charges. All of the alleged accusers are adults. KXAN investigator Kelly Wiley found some parents say they were unaware of these allegations for months after his arrest as he continued coaching their children. Platinum Gymnastics Academy is a competitive training gym for young amateur gymnasts in Round Rock. The owners, Gene Martinez and his wife, have for years coached girls they say have gone on to be nationally ranked and compete in college. But in October 2021, the U.S. Center for Safe Sport suspended Coach Martinez. The reasons for his suspension had for months gone unreported to parents and to the athletes he coached. One parent who left the gym after learning what happened agreed to speak with us if her identity could be hidden. And got this phone call from one of the other team moms and she was, sounded really upset. And she told me, um, I just found out that Jean was charged with sexual assault. And I just kept saying, oh my God, oh my God, I can't, what? Martinez was arrested in May. Travis County investigators described in the warrant how he allegedly sexually assaulted a woman at his Pflugerville home last year. And I was just appalled because not only is he the owner, he was a coach. Parents say Martinez continued coaching at Platinum Gymnastics Academy nearly half a year after being arrested. Absolutely no one. Everyone that we talked to, no one was told. So he was still coaching them in the summer, even after he would have been released from jail. He was still coaching them. Detectives say it was a parent who reported Martinez to USA Gymnastics. The organization imposed a no unsupervised contact order on the coach on October 1st. A few days later, Travis County investigators say they arrested Martinez again when two more women came forward, alleging Martinez sexually assaulted them in 2016. That same week, nonprofit U.S. Center for Safe Sport temporarily suspended the coach, pending its investigation into the allegations. It's just sickening. It's just sickening and sad that you don't speak up about something like this immediately. That tells me that you don't care about our daughter's safety. Coach Martinez would not agree to sit down and do an interview with us. His attorney also wouldn't answer questions as to whether he and his wife, the co-owner of this gym, told parents or USA Gymnastics about the allegations he was facing. His attorney did provide a statement for us. He said his client is innocent of these charges and they look forward to their day in court and defending him against these allegations. And since the allegations against Coach Martinez have come to light, some parents have said they've left the academy altogether. Reporting in Round Rock, Kelly Wiley, KXAN Investigates. And again, Martinez is set to go before a judge coming up in February. The Travis County Sheriff's Office is asking anyone who has any information about this case to please call its tip line. We have put that number in our story online. We also have a timeline of the allegations made in the case and the legal proceedings to follow. You can look for that in the investigative section of KXAN.com. Now, we wanted to know more about that entity, U.S. Center for Safe Sport, mentioned in Kelly's story, and it was created in 2017 as a part of the Federal Protecting Young Victims from Sexual Abuse and Safe Sport Authorization Act. And this act gave the nonprofit the authority to resolve abuse and misconduct reports for the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee.